you practicing sight reading but not seeing much results? Maybe you're practicing even an hour a day but for some reason you're not seeing any progress. Well, in today's lesson I'm going to explain why that might be and I'm going to share with you the secret to becoming a good sight reader. And make sure you stick around till the end of the video because I'll be showing you my favorite resource that you can use to apply the secret tip of today's lesson. Hi guys, this is Manu from Piano Sight Reading, where I give sight reading tips to pianists. If you're new here, then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to see more videos like this. Before we dive into today's topic, I'd like you to write down in the comments right now how long you practice sight reading a day. Is it 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 1 hour? Now what if I were to tell you that actually the amount of time you sight read every day doesn't really matter all that much because during say one hour of sight reading a day it's not necessarily going to help you improve faster. <gasps> what will help you improve faster is actually what you do besides sight reading. Oh, What I mean by that is the other stuff, your technique, your pieces, how much time do you actually spend on technique, as in scales, chords, arpeggios, octaves, etc. And how much time do you spend learning new pieces, new repertoire, or new studies. If you only practice sight reading and nothing else, then you will hit a wall at some point and you will wonder, well, why am I not improving? And that's because you're not practicing everything else that revolves around music. So think of music as a language. If you've ever learned a foreign language, you'll know that there's quite a lot of things you need to know and understand before you can even understand sentences or speak. You need to know the sounds, you need to know words, verbs, sentence structure, there's so many things you need to know before you can even start to understand a language. Well, the same goes with music. You obviously need to know how to read the notes, but you also need to know intervals, chords, arpeggios, rhythm. There's so many components in music that you need to be able to understand. And just like with language where you have to practice pronouncing words, the same is true with piano. You need to practice producing the sounds. It's not enough to understand what you see in the score. You actually have to be able to produce it with you know, the right fingers, the right movement. So that's why it's so crucial to spend time on technique, on studies, on learning your repertoire. That's really where you're going to learn the building blocks for everything else. And that's going to help you improve sight reading. And a great resource to learn your technique and your theory is a book called The Complete Book of Scales, Chords, Arpeggios and Cadences. What is great about this book is that it explains a lot of the theory behind the technique. So you have chapters on the circle of fifths, you have pages on tetrachords, on how to build major scales, triads, inversions, the 5-7 chord, arpeggios. So as you learn how to play these things, you can also learn the theory behind it all, so you actually understand it. And this book is great, especially if you're learning on your own or you don't have a teacher at the moment because of the global pandemic. What the book gives you is a structure with the theory you need to know and then the notes and fingering that you need to know for all the scales, etc. What I recommend you do in your practice is practicing sight reading, technique and repertoire. So say you had one hour of practice, I would do about 10 minutes of sight reading and I would start with sight reading because that's when the mind is most alert and then do 10 minutes of technique 
So that includes your scales, your chords, anything you need to work on. And then for 20 minutes, either work on a piece or a study. And then for the last 20 minutes, work on a different piece. And by doing this, you'll be able to keep improving all your areas. And keep in mind that the more advanced your technique is, the easier it will be to sight read more advanced pieces. And another piece of advice is whatever you practice, whether you're doing scales or arpeggios or your pieces or sight reading, is try to always involve your brain and your ears. When you're learning something, make sure that you understand it. Try to avoid playing mindlessly through something and involve your ears. So when you're learning something, listen to it, try to remember what intervals sound like, what a major scale sounds like, etc. So you're really learning the concepts. You're not just relying on muscle memory. So the big takeaway of today's lesson is work on all your areas. Work on your technique, on your repertoire, on sight reading, and try doing improvising, composing, learn how to sight sing or solfege. So keep improving your skills because these skills will help you become a better sight reader. Please share and like this video if you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Happy sight reading! So what, so what I could, so what I rem, what I, what, what I rem,